Okay, with me in the studios now, our listeners, is uh, Mr. Christopher B. Buck. Is it Buck? Yes. Uh -huh. You're welcome to our studios. Thank you very much. Uh, you are the president of Shumante Hearing Foundation. First of all, I would like to know, what is Shumante Hearing Foundation? Humanity Healing Foundation is the humanitarian arm of an organization called Humanity Healing, which myself and Liani Leger three years ago founded. Humanity Healing is a non-political, non-denominational, spiritual, humanitarian organization. And what I mean by spiritual is that we encompass all faiths. People who are members uh, are from all denominations, all faiths, and we have respect for each of them. But we work together through our common beliefs to help humanity. Mm, where are you based? We are based out of Richmond, Virginia in the United States. But our members are located all over the world. Uh, last I checked on our community network, of the, I believe, 196 countries recognized by the United Nations, Humanity Healing had members from over 160 of them. Uh, I would like, uh, thank you. I would like now to know when did you come to Uganda and uh, um, what sort of role you are playing as Humanity Healing Foundation in this country? Uh, I arrived in Uganda on the 25th of February. I'll be flying back out on the uh, 11th. And what I came for this trip for is we are starting to, to broaden our uh, efforts uh, in Africa. We have recently uh, acquired legal status, the Amanda Healing Foundation Africa, uh, with uh, David Lubali as the national director. And I've come out here uh, on a fact-finding mission and also to speak with local leaders and with uh, people that we meet out at the projects to learn how we can help them empower themselves. As president of this foundation, uh, which areas, what parts uh, of Uganda have you visited? Uh, so far we've been to around Kampala mm -hmm. where we've toured several projects. We've been to the east uh, to tour a, a school out there, Future Victory School, and then we've been up to the north at Gulu to mm. look at the internal displacement camps. Mm. So you 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 talked about for, about uh, education, empowering schools, and all that. Yes. Uh, how far how far have you gone with uh, this uh, mission in Uganda? We we are really just starting our okay. our missions in Uganda, mm. and uh, as I said, this this trip was to get a better understanding so that we would be able to explain not only to the members of our organization, mm -hmm. but also to do an outreach in the United States and in other countries around the world to connect what we have seen and the experiences of the people of Uganda to the people that we work with uh, around the world in order to, to bring that compassion home to help the people of Uganda. Mm. We, we have uh, an International Women's Day around the corner. Uh, Mr. Buck, what is your comment? What message would you uh, relay to women in Uganda? To women in Uganda? Uh, <laughs> I, I have been extremely uh, moved and touched by the, the people I've met in Uganda and the, the women in particular. They have such courage and such spirit and it, particularly with the women that I've met up in the north, despite the hardships, despite uh, the tragedies that may have befallen them and uh, with the, the war and the, the other situations, uh, AIDS, et cetera, they show such courage. And I personally find them very inspiring. Mm -hmm. And I would like to thank the women of Uganda for the opportunity to learn from them and to uh, to grow personally because of it. How do you foresee your mission, the mission of your foundation in this country? The mission of our foundation in this country, uh, what we are looking to do is to, to bring ideas and to bring um, individuals and concepts to Uganda and then work with the Ugandan people and the leaders here to define those better. It would be very arrogant for me to say, I know what your problem is, here's how to fix it. That's, that's not how we do business. What we do is we would say, 
we've got an idea. Have you thought of this? And how does this apply to what you're doing? And how can you suggest that we improve it so that together we can make a better result? Uh, so now your foundation is men in Kampala. How, uh, how do you plan to see that is spread? Because uh, most of the areas which are really need need such a mission like yours are uh, upcountry areas. Yes. What's your plan for this foundation to reach the, uh, the, the, the upcountry areas? The large project that we are working on, the biggest project that we will be uh, working on, and uh, um, David Lubali will be in charge of that in this, in this country, uh, we call the Ide Perry Initiative, which is uh, an empowerment initiative for the North. What we are looking to do is a somewhat new idea. The, uh, many people have been resettled. Uh, there are still people that need to be resettled, but many have been, but they're facing hardships because they go back to their land. There's disputes on whether that is their land or they, they no longer have access to it. They're, they don't have the abilities to build a home or to start up their lives again on the land. And as a result, this is creating much hardship, not only with the people, but the local region and the economy up there. Mm -hmm. What we are, are looking at doing uh, and the concept that we have is to create, uh, a, we're going to start with, with a, a village and the people that come to this village mm -hmm. and we are looking at the most high risk people, people that, that do not have land, uh, child head of families, women, um, former soldiers, people that are, that are are, need to be reintegrated back into society. We are going to bring them to this village and we are giving them a vision. Their vision, their job, if you will, in this village will be to resettle other internally displaced people mm. so that the skills that they learn in the village, which will include construction, and we, we have a, a, a method that is, is both new and old for construction um, but it's very easy to do in remote areas with very little tools. They will learn this, this technology and they will learn how to do it. And as, as their job, they will be going out to train others and to build homes for them. And our idea is that the people that, for instance, uh, someone from, from the, the villages that is trained, a team comes out there and works with the family that needs to build the new home. Okay, the home is built. Now, the payment from the family that, that has the home mm -hmm. will then be to help build another home for another person. Mm -hmm. So the idea being is that, that not only are we helping people, but we're also uh, reestablishing a sense of community that may have become lost because of the displacement. Mm -hmm. And in this way, we hope that this will ripple out and affect a great number of people in as short a period of time. Because if you have a, a, a unit that's, for instance, built with four people, so you have four people trained, now that will be split into two and two. We'll go to do pick up two more people at each house. Mm -hmm. That's two houses. Mm -hmm. The next wave mm -hmm. will then become four houses, eight, 16, 32. In this way, we can ripple this out quickly to help as many people as possible in a shorter period of time. Thank you very much, Mr. Christopher Buck, and I think all Ugandans will be looking forward to working with you very closely, to working with this foundation very closely to the benefit of our community. Well, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.